Hey dear viewers, welcome back to The Guardian's Choice. If there's one kitchen appliance it seems like most people can't live without, it's the microwave. In fact, a whopping 97% of American homes include microwaves, according to the U.S. Census Bureau. But are you sure you're using this ubiquitous appliance correctly? As it turns out, there's a good chance that, well, you just might be making tons of very common microwave mistakes when reheating food. Most people know that microwave ovens and conventional ovens cook food in different ways, but they don't know how that difference affects the food, says Lan Lam, senior editor at Cooks Illustrated in Boston, Massachusetts. In order to make sure you're getting the most out of your food that needs to be reheated. We consulted the experts to let you in on 18 mistakes you might be making while microwaving your food, and what to do instead to get it right. Mistake number one. Not playing with your food. Even the hottest ovens heat the surface of your food at a fairly slow pace. That gives heat time to move toward the center of the food, heating the food fairly evenly, Lamb says. Microwaves heat the surfaces of food very quickly, but they can't help the heat move towards the center of your food fast enough. As a result, hot spots flare up on the surface, even when the interior of the food is still ice cold. So it's best to do what your mom always told you not to do, play with your food. Mistake number two. Using the wrong cover. Repeat after us, I will not place styrofoam in the microwave. Remember, that includes takeout containers and lids. Also avoid placing plastic wrap and paper bags in the microwave, as these items may have unsafe chemicals that can be released into food while it is cooking, lasagna says. Mistake number three. Forgetting the fork. Be sure to remove the fork, and anything metal, from the environment before pressing start. Some items should not go into the microwave because they can be damaging and dangerous to the microwave. Items like metal pans, silverware, and aluminum foil can cause damage to the microwave that could even lead to a fire. Lasagna says. Mistake number four. Leaving food unsupervised. We're all for encouraging hitting your 10,000, or 15,000, steps for the day, but cook time is just not the ideal moment for that. Lasagna says. It's easy to walk away from the microwave while food is cooking, but don't stray far away, she says. It's best to stay near to check on foods as they cook to make sure they are heating evenly and aren't splattering or overheating. Mistake number 5. Microwaving something with a tendency to spark. A spark on a first date is good. On a first cook? Bad. Very bad. Certain foods spark in the microwave, given the right circumstances. Lamb says. Scientists aren't sure exactly why it happens and it's tough to predict, so the best course of action is to keep an eye and an ear on your food when microwaving, she says. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, USDA, no-go microwave noshes include hot dogs and carrots, and NPR counts kale and spinach as offenders, too. Mistake number 6. Microwaving something that might explode. Beyond the spark risk, steer clear of blasting anything with the capacity to combust, or to explode. Some foods are simply not suitable for microwave cooking. Lasagna says. The first that comes to mind is shell eggs. Shell eggs for hard-boiled eggs should be made on the stovetop since there is a chance of them blowing up in the microwave. Better safe than sorry. Mistake number 7. Nuking peppers. Because hot peppers can emit some of their capsaicin, a potent extract that can sting your eyes, nose, and throat as soon as you open the microwave door, lasagna recommends sautéing them instead. Mistake number 8. Allowing your appliance to get grimy. H2O is all you need to keep your appliance spick and span. Microwave a bowl filled with about 2 cups of water for 2 minutes. After the timer goes off, leave the door closed and let it sit for 5 minutes. Lamb says. The hot steam will soften any cooked on food, and you can wipe up the splatters with a cloth after that. Mistake number 9. Not letting food heat up properly. If you are microwaving the leftover food from last night that you put in the refrigerator, or worse, left outside, you must let it heat properly so that the food is thoroughly hot. Not letting the food heat up properly causes the middle part to stay cold and leads to the growth of bacteria. This can cause food poisoning. Mistake number 10. Using any plastic container to heat food. If it's a plastic container, it is safe to microwave, right? Wrong. Plastic containers that are not meant to go into the microwave might leak harmful chemicals into the food. For example, BPA plastic, when leaches to food can cause a variety of health problems like diabetes, heart disease, and even infertility. 
it is recommended to only use microwave safe plastic or glass containers. Mistake number 11. Not regularly cleaning it. What can go wrong if you don't clean your microwave for a month? Turns out, a lot. Your microwave might look clean but it is actually covered in small food particles that can lead to the germination of bacteria if left unclean for a long time. So clean it regularly before you pick up any smell. Mistake number 12. Microwaving in styrofoam takeouts. You are anyway going to microwave your food for 2 minutes, so there can be no harm in just using the styrofoam takeouts. No. Heating your food in these containers is dangerous to your health. When heated, styrofoam can leak toxins in the food which will go right in your body as you consume it. Taking time to transfer your food to a glass container is worth it. Mistake number 13. Underutilizing the pause button. Why would you ever need to use the pause button and delay the cooking process? It is imperative to use the pause button so that you can stir your cold meals such as ready to eat and take out so that they can be heated evenly without leaving any cold bits. These cold bits can harbor bad bacteria that can hamper your health. Mistake number 14. Microwaving certain vegetables. Are you making a healthy veggie salad and decided to microwave your mushrooms and broccoli so that they can cook without any oil? Don't do it. Microwaving certain vegetables as these two can result in them losing all the nutrients as soon as the heat hits them. A few veggies such as beetroot and spinach can even turn cancerous. Mistake number 15. Not making healthy potato chips. If you are taking the long and unhealthy route to deep fry your potato chips even after having a microwave, listen up. You can make healthy potato chips by slicing potatoes, slightly brushing them with olive oil, sprinkling salt over them, arranging in a plate and microwaving for 3 minutes. Then turn over and microwave for another 3 minutes. Let them rest for a couple of minutes so that they turn crispy. If you can resist, that is. Mistake number 16. Not peeling garlic with it. Everyone who cooks knows that peeling garlic is a Herculean task. But did you know that microwaving garlic can make them come out of their peel without any extra effort? No need to lose precious time peeling cloves one by one now. Mistake number 17. Not toasting nuts. One of the best uses you can put your microwave to is to toast nuts. And it is really simple to do so. Just spread them in an even layer in a container and microwave until the color changes and the desired crunchiness is achieved. Mistake number 18. Heating your food uncovered. Microwaving your food without any cover can subject your machine to the risk of splatters when it starts heating up. This can make your microwave dirty and lead to bacterial growth. Always lay a damp paper towel over the container while microwaving your food. So, what do you think? Let us know in the comment section below. Enjoyed this video? Give a thumbs up and share. Also, subscribe to The Guardian's Choice. Wait. What kind of choices are we? If we don't tell you about our other awesome videos. Go ahead, choose the left or right video. And enjoy.